these names, man. Shin uh, let's tactically ask God for a Jorgensen victory. What do you think about that? <laughs> tactically? I think they're just uh, er everybody pray for a Jorgensen victory is what they're saying. Tactical prayer. Um, you know, I'm, I, I I'm, like uh, it because it drew attention to Jorgensen. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, I'm. I, I feel like I have a huge rant at the tip of my brain about you know, faith versus works, and prayer versus action. And I just want to say I'm not against prayer. I think it's uh, a, a really beautiful thing for people who do it effectively. Um, as a as a means of connecting with with a, a greater spirituality and as a meditation and connecting with their own self and more for that and I, I think you know when 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 someone says oh I'll pray for you it's like well, 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 well that is gonna help me at all you know and there are a lot there are a lot of people who throw that around as, as a kind of you know BS manipulation of like oh yeah yeah I'll pray for you okay or it, it, and it's their way of saying, well, I can't do anything about it, so I'll ask God to do something about it. And if it's it's like out of that helplessness, yeah, okay, I can appreciate that too. I think there's just there are more effective ways of praying, and even in a case like this, there's you know a positivity that you can get out of prayer uh, in in just saying, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to be thinking about you. I'm going to meditate about you. I'm going to I'm going to talk to God about you. Right. I mean, it's still like, no, you know, uh, and if you if you just if, if it's just if the person praying is going, dear God, I can't do anything about this. Please do something about it so I can go back to my life and not worry about it. Thank you. Now that I've done that, now I can stop worrying about it. I'm going to stop thinking about it. I'm just going to trust God. And I'm going to. All right. Well, no, that's bullshit. That, that's that's a kind of escapism. Uh, you know, rather and it might be a meditation. It might have some positives to it, too. I'm not discounting it entirely. But why would you say, you know, please, God, just make this happen when you could say, please, God, show me how to make this happen. Right. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's that's a, a way more positive way of engaging with God. And, and the way that I would think of God as a way of engaging with the universe when I meditate, you know, I, I, I hope to channel you know, a greater positive energy through the power of meditation to achieve better outcomes, to, you know, better uh, arrange my brain to have, uh, you know, a more positive outlook or a more empowering outlook or to achieve something in particular. Like, you know, when I say, you know, dear, uh, you know, and so like if you pray, dear God, please give me the strength to make it through this crisis. You know, if, if, if you believe that your inner strength comes not from you and from God, then you're asking for, her, you know, then you're externalizing it. But if that God is in you, then then you're 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 cultivating that that resiliency and, and that strength in yourself to make it through that crisis. And talking to God is your way of doing it, getting it from God. I mean, I could even say in my, you know, objective religious framework of, of pantheism. Well, if, if everything is God and I say, dear God, please give me the strength to get through this. I, I'm essentially talking to myself and saying, may the God in me rise up and give me what I need to be strong through this crisis. And so in that sense, I would say, if you're going to if you're going to talk to God about Joe Jorgensen, don't just make a request and walk away. Faith is not enough without the works to back it up. Thank <laughs> you.